The building you are looking at was once home to Cattlemen's Meat Company, built in 1961. Previously, Scott Street ran through the lot and connected to DeQuinder. At the northeast corner of Scott and Orleans, a Catholic order of nuns, originally from France, called the Little Sisters of the Poor, ran a community for older people. The Little Sisters opened the home for the aged poor at the corner of Fort and Fourteenth in 1874 and moved here in 1876. They grew fast. Their first location provided spaces for about 20 elderly residents, and expansions to their second building made room for as many as 250. The Little Sisters ran the home with donations from churches and wealthy individuals, but they also resorted to begging door to door when necessary to keep their residents in good care. The home was so revered by Detroiters that a parade was organized to celebrate laying the cornerstone for a new building addition in 1882. Detroit police headed the parade, followed by a band and members of the Detroit National Guard. Several other benevolent societies were present, as well as Polish, Irish, German, Belgian, and Bohemian Catholic organizations. The Little Sisters came to Detroit from France at the invitation of Bishop Borges, the second Roman Catholic Bishop of Detroit, originally himself from Germany. Soon young Detroit women started joining the order, working in the home for the aged poor and then traveling to France. Despite this strong link to France, the Little Sisters did serve Detroiters of other religions, races, and ethnicities. The Little Sisters welcomed everyone they could, from formerly enslaved people from the South to formerly wealthy people to lifelong poor Detroiters. They were usually full to capacity and admitted the very poorest first. Men and women were generally separate when in church, at meals, or in the infirmary, and they slept in different wings. During the late 19th century, the home was the only Catholic-operated old-age community in Detroit. Other old-age institutions usually catered to more wealthy people and required fees for entry. The home for the aged poor was at this location until 1928, when the Little Sisters received a donation of a new, larger facility on Southfield. The Southfield location has long been closed, and like many groups and individuals with French heritage, the Little Sisters no longer have a presence in Detroit. However, many organizations do exist today for the benefit of older Detroiters who make up a growing percentage of the city's population.